All right, I'm gonna put this as simply as I can. This is one of those YouTube updates that just works and makes everything so much better. Here's a question for you. What's your favorite analytical tool on YouTube? Mine just so happens to come from vidIQ, but the good news is it's 100% free. You know when people will say you'll cringe at your old videos? Now I had to dive deep into the history of a vidIQ channel to find that video, but here it is over on the left hand side here, the best YouTube tool on the planet, Deep Dive. Wow, those were some colorful thumbnails back then, weren't they? But the video was all in aid of one of the OG tools here at vidIQ, the channel stats bar that sits at the top of the YouTube desktop experience if you have our browser extension installed. And at the time, I called it a security blanket. And I think that's still accurate. It would give you a snapshot of your channel. And if you moused over the analytics, it would give you a bit more of a breakdown of these five key numbers about your channel. And it was a way of keeping eye on what was going on on your channel without having to go to the YouTube studio. And we built that over seven years ago and credit to the team here for having a foresight to do that. As I said already, it's my favorite tool here at vidIQ. And it's just got better. If you're watching closely earlier on, you've actually already seen it. This is the redesign revamp of the vidIQ channel stats. That's more subtle and more in line with YouTube's UI. And it shows you similar stats. If you just leave it there, sat in the top right hand corner of the browser. And if you mouse over it, it's going to show you those extra analytics. And this is where things get a lot more interesting. As mentioned earlier, the previous channel stats bar was limited to just five key metrics, but already we're seeing a lot more here available. And that's just from the overview drop down. We can click here and we can look at pretty much anything on our channel. We can look at the real time stats as they're coming in, or we can go to stats from the last 28 days, or we can look at the stats for the entire channel over its lifetime and look at how quick it is. You know, when you go to the YouTube student, it takes like 10 seconds to refresh your lifetime stats. Well, it just does it instantly here. And that's pretty incredible, isn't it? And with more metrics comes more choices as to what to put at the top of the channel stats bar. So what we can do is go to our favorites. I'm gonna unfavorite everything here, just so that we're starting from scratch and pick some metrics. Obviously I'm gonna have the uh, Real-time stats for the last 60 minutes. That's one that I'm always going to have. And I think views for the last 48 hours, that's something else that I'd like to have. And you know what I fancy? I fancy lifetime views, lifetime subscribers, but I also want to know how much money I'm making recently. And so let's go to last seven days. And that's our revenue for the last seven days. So I can favor all of these things to add to the stats bar at the top to keep an eye on my key metrics when I'm just browsing around YouTube. To summarize what this tool is doing then, it's picking out the best bits and pieces from the YouTube Studio channel analytics page, along with the different timeframes that you can use and sticking it in here for instant access, no matter where you are on YouTube, watching a video, searching for something on a channel page. But what we do appreciate is that we're giving you a lot more options and a lot more data. So that can be managed a little bit by clicking on the cog icon here. And you can choose whether to show certain metrics, like if we move, remove the views, you see it disappears from the stats bar, but we can also be more granular or less granular by showing exact results. So if you look at the view count here, it currently says 11.7K. If I wanted the exact number, then yeah, it's gonna show me specific counts for everything. So you can go as hardcore as you want or as broad as you want. And we can also decide how often we want these statistics to update through the drop downs here. We really have thought of everything, I think, because you might have more suggestions and we wanna hear them in the comments below. So do let us know if you would like a specific metric added to this list and we'll see what we can do. And I did say this was free, right? The channel stats bar is one of the 100% free tools that you get when you download the browser extension, along with many more that are too numerous to mention here. But what I will suggest you do is just watch any video on YouTube, whether it be a long form video or a short, once you've got our browser extension installed and your jaw is going to drop to the floor at just how much stuff there is to 
see. Enjoy the rest of your video making day. Bye for now. Oh, gee. This guy's got no future on YouTube. I could get more charisma out of a toilet brush.